It's your boy, Jim TV. Welcome back to the channel. You can like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. And we are back with another clip, another video, and some things to get into with our thoughts, man. Stay tuned for the commentary, and I'll be with you shortly. Hey, it's your boy, Jim TV, man. And we're back with another video for the channel, man. And I had to come speak on this conversation, man. It's crazy. So I'm in the house. I'm in the crib today. Um, and I just had the chance to um, sit down on the couch, man, and hit play on my YouTube, man. You know, hit play on on s some other content, on other people's content, man. And I'm just sitting back, listening to this conversation, uh, lovers only. This conversation between Joe Button and Killer Mike. And to hear the... Um, I gotta review the Michael album, by the way. But I just to hear how passionate that Killer Mike uh talks about this album and, and about hip hop and you know how undeniably uh passionate he is about it, how much he loves music in general, just and how excited he sounds to complete this body of work and have it be that thing. Like I got I'm like two tracks in and I keep uh, playing them like the same two songs over the first two, the one with CeeLo and the other one, and I keep playing this rec these two records, right? And I'm like, man, I'm trying to get all of whatever I can get out of the first two tracks before I skip on. And it's not that, you know, some people just, oh, I can't get past, I can't get into that. And that's not the problem, because I've listened to. I've let it play a little bit, like, beyond the two. But I'm like, man, just go back. Because at now at the fact that I'm trying to, like, really review this album, I don't want to miss nothing. Like, the same way with um, the Conway album. I really don't want to miss nothing. Like, I want to go and, and hear it as many ways as I can. Because every time I hear a song, I hear it differently. And it's because I'm an artist myself, and I love I love music that much. Like, listen to an album front to back constantly, constantly, all day. Um, I still do that now, even in this microwave era. Well, they calling it the microwave era, but even in this microwave era, and, you know, how fast we consume music, I still listen to these albums front to back three, four, five times, especially when I'm at work, when I'm, you know, running pallets or, running back and forth getting stuff done like I want it and it's just moving but to hear how he's talking about his project to hear how excited Joe sounds talking to Killer Mike about how Killer Mike feels about this album it's inspiring and it takes you back to the days where yo I gotta listen to this album I gotta sit with it I gotta hear it a million times I got to get everything out of it that I can. That's what makes us love the Tupacs, the Jay-Zs, the Andre Threes, the Nazes, the Scarfaces, the M's. This is what makes us love those earlier albums because they put every damn thing into it. They put the kitchen sink in there. They put Mama's Greens in there. Mama done put her foot in the greens that they put in there. They put the seven layers of macaroni and, and, and that's the seven cheeses of the layers in the lasagna and they put the seven cheeses in the macaroni with those albums. They put their heart, their mind, their spirit, their body, their soul, they everything into these albums. And when you hear it, you like, motherfucker, did you hear what this guy said? Man, you hit a hook on that thing, baby girl sung her heart out. Hey, you hit them horns in the background. Man, you hear that light, you hear that light 808, you hear that light 808 in the back. Why it's in the background? They should have brought that up and need to hit hard. Sometimes when you move around 808s and drums and you move around horns and you move sections in and out of these bodies of work, you change the feeling. You change the message. You change the feeling of the message. So sometimes it's just about the message. So track one ain't supposed to sound like track five. Track five not supposed to sound like track ten. And we want, and it, it wasn't 20... 20 uh, songs, 20 track albums, or 20 track records. It was 14 records, 13 records, 12 records, 10 records. At the maximum, 18. And 
couple of those was interlude skits and prayers and everything you felt like you needed to feel. That's what the album's supposed to do. But we lost that. Some of us lost the feeling, not all, all the some. Because when you get a cold project, sometimes you feel that. You get a Kendrick joint, sometimes you feel that. Even with So Far Gone and, and Take Care, you felt that. Like, Sometimes I feel like Thank Me Later was a couple of leftover tracks. Just me. But I still respected it because it sounded a lot better than a lot of other people's projects at the time. So I said, this is amazing. This is an amazing conversation. And a part of me wants to play some of it to pull out some of the jewels that, that he's spitting um, and how, like, the people around them, like, knows how much they love what they do and love him saying and even to the core Joe Putton's a media personality now but he still love that music shit he might not want to do it he might not want to partake in the festivities you know he might not want to compete with everybody else like he used to no more but we gotta understand we looked at Joe Button's career it was turbulent and people made fun of him. And he's been clown. So at the end of the day, for Joe, it wasn't fun any longer. He got ran through the ringer. So of course he doesn't want to participate. And nobody's out giving participation awards. Oh, yo, you was in it for a little while. Or why we while he was in it, he had some shit. A lot of people didn't care to pay attention. He didn't get to become a mainstream artist. So of course. It's a little salty, but it don't mean he don't love what's going on. It was a conversation that he had with Benny not too long ago. He been having these conversation lovers only. And at the end of the day, I think I might be a conversation lover. Like, because this is, it's just, it's nuts. Like, music is, so I understand every piece of what Killer Mike is saying, man. Like, uh. I just got to, I got to finish listening to this album. I want to sit back, you know, vibe out, you know, with a nice cold drink, you know, my favorite chip, my favorite chip, I mean, that they eat my favorite meal, my favorite dinner snack, my little chip, my chips and, you know, dip or whatever, and uh, listen with the lights, like, slightly low. Man, we vibing out. Just listen to the album, letting it rock through front to back as many times as I can. I can stand it because it's the music lover in me. And all the while doing this and letting it play back and, and, and with, with the lights like semi cool, you know what I'm saying? But that that neutral vibe with the feet kicked up, with the TV on mute, and it was just watching the screen, but just visualizing everything I'm hearing while I'm vibing to listen to the album. Um, and just chilling and relaxing, you know, writing down, taking notes, you know, like, oh man, this, this, this track is cool because of this and this, I like the vibe on this. Oh yeah, this is fast paced. Like just studying bodies of work. Cause at the end of the day, that's what we've always done. If we was a fan of music, you're catching a bus, you're vibing out to something. You're in middle school, high school, you on the bus, vibing out to this music, man. Going whenever you wherever you going. Or you had a long walk. Or you taking that morning jog and that run, man. This this is your soundtrack. Some of these albums are soundtracks to your life. You know, uh when certain songs drop, you remember what corner you were standing on. You remember who you were standing with. All that. It take you back to a time. I'm like shit, I can remember what I was doing when the best, the first Best of Both Worlds came out. You know what I'm saying? I was outside. <laughs> it was summertime. It was the anthems coming out that motherfucker, man. So I get it. And to be a creator and the driving force behind one of those type of projects where you felt like you put your all in it. This conversation make me want to listen to the album even more. You know what I mean? I'm off tomorrow. I might, I might give it a play through tonight, but I'm definitely 
I'm definitely reviewing this album. I'm definitely reviewing Conway. I definitely got to go back and review a couple other albums. Because at the end of the day, man, I love that music shit too. And I'm, why not put, display my love for music on a platform, man, on my platform? You know, same way I love a, I love certain sneakers, man. When I get a pair of them things, man, we're going to review them things on foot. You know what I mean? It ain't got to be, yeah, I got this Travis Scott sneaker, man. And I know I'm getting all the time. It ain't got to be that Travis Scott sneaker that everybody want, man. It could be the little simple. Man, it's the motherfucking uh, all-white Air Force with the yellow check and the yellow bottom, you know what I'm saying? And with the with the uh with the gold new bray. You know what I mean? And the yellow laces, but you can swap them out with the white laces. It could be all day regular GR. And you might wear them joints for the whole summer, cause you gotta wear your joints. Clean them off, put them back in the, you know, put them back in the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, same thing with these albums. And you know them albums, man, you know. Sit back, take them out the package, pop them in the, uh, you know, the joint, look at the back of the cover. See, only nowadays, hit play on the joint, read the credits, read the line of notes, see who was involved in what, all that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's, and then, you know, boom, put it back in the collection. Boom. I'll listen to, this, I'll listen to it again later. Let's play something else. Yeah, you know I mean, that's why I came up with my thing, Soulful uh, Music Sundays. There's any type of music. It ain't got to be specifically soul. It could be hip-hop, R&B, blues, rock, country, whatever you want to listen to. Just pick a day when it's chill and just bump one of them things. So bump a couple of them things and really just get in the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Just to pre appreciate the artistic value and everything. Um, appreciate the artistic value and everything. So I'm gonna finish enjoying this conversation. I just wanted to speak about it. You know what I'm saying, and how excited this man sounded, these gentlemen sound about um a body of work that was created. Um, we should appreciate art more often, man. This is Jim's TV, man. Signing off. Love life. Love to love. Good day. And may blessings be upon you.